Hello, my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here. This is a little outro video, a wrap-up of all the things that I've done with my dad in the last week. Mm. It started out in Biloxi, where we met and went for oysters. I got to try charbroiled oysters, which is um, special enough for me to eat meat for the first time in 18, 19 months. So that was a really fun experience and and I got through it completely guilt free. So <laughs> just totally okay with it. Um, that was and really, aftermath free. And aftermath free. I mean, it all went smoothly. So that was uh, the first thing that we started um, started off doing together. From there, we drove to Fort Blakely in Mobile and had two wonderful nights in a cabin, uh, three walls and a screen. It was... <laughs> That's the name of a good movie, Three Walls and a Screen. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to remember that. Okay. That's our movie title. <laughs> <laughs> Copyrighted. <laughs> so yeah, that was really, really cool, exploring the battlefields uh, that... Well, the battlefield of the last major war uh, battle in the Civil War and getting to get a feel for uh, how close soldiers were to each other and what it would have been like to be camped out there um, just without the battle part. So, And I, I saw an armadillo for the first time. That was really cool. So we did Fort Blakely and then from there we packed up and hit the road to Dolphin Island. Dolphin Island was super special. The first thing we did, we set up camp and went out to the beach, saw the sunset, which was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we saw schools of dolphins just from the shore, incredible. They were flipping around, they were warming their bellies with the, the, um, the, the sun going down. Just incredible. We saw a fox, we saw herons. Yeah, it was all around just an exceptional first night at Dolphin Island. The second night at Dolphin Island, we peeled out and hopped on the ferry. We drove the vehicle, my vehicle, onto the ferry and had a 45 minute ferry ride to Fort Morgan, which is across the, across the bay from Dolphin Island. Uh, we got to explore Fort Morgan, which was uh, a fort that really lasted from, I think it was 1812 uh, up until World War II. So some more history, um, Army history, US Army history, we got to learn and see just these cannons that could rotate and fire out onto invading ships. Uh, we learned that Germans had U.S. Uh, not U.S. but uh, what are those submarines called? The U-boats. Uh, U-boats. U-boats. Uh, Germans had U-boats around that fort during World War II. Like just really, really fascinating stuff. And even though it was really cold and windy, we had a lot of fun. And uh, and oh my gosh, the vantage point at Fort Morgan is incredible. I mean, you can just see anything coming in on all sides. So understandable why they have that there. From Fort Morgan we packed up, we went over to Bon Secure uh, National Wildlife Refuge and got to hike between a saltwater lake and a, and a freshwater uh, pond up until the Gulf of Mexico. It was just white sandy beaches and wonderful hiking trail. Uh, just really cool, really cool to do. Then after that I, we, we went home going not over, the, not with the ferry, but the long way around the entirety of Mobile Bay. Stopped at the Five Delta Center to check out where my friend Cassie used to work. Shout out Cassie, thanks for recommending we visit Mobile, Alabama. Appreciate you. Yeah, the Five Deltas are the Mobile Delta, the river, Five Rivers Delta. That's it, Five River Delta. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just a, where all the where these rivers meet the the uh, the, the, Blakely, the lake the lake the Mobile that's three of them 
Nice. Huh? Nice. How about it? Yeah. <laughs> Good memory. So we went back, we slept at Dolphin Island, we had to get out of there the next morning pretty early because they were having a Mardi Gras parade on the island, so mm -hmm. we drove out and we could see just everyone was cooking and drinking and taking their spots on the sides of the roads because there was going to be a parade. There was also going to be a boat parade later on that day, which is very cool, uh, but we did not stick around for that. Fort Pickens was pretty incredible. Uh, that is a national park with a entrance gate and you drive out onto this seven mile stretch of island it's right next to pensacola and so at the end of the island is the fort pickens and that uh, was constructed to protect anybody coming into the pensacola bay or pensacola beach so that was sweet, and then we explored that fort and hopped onto the Florida National Scenic Trail. And that is the first segment, that is where the Florida National Scenic Trail begins. So Dad and I knocked the first section of the Florida Trail out, which was really, really cool. And that included hiking in Fort Pickens to hiking on the beach. and hiking on the beach is incredible and we got to see another sunset so that was sweet came back to camp which is still in the Fort Pickens area and woke up the next day dad continued to hike into Pensacola to the Pensacola Pier I did a run yeah so then we blew out uh, the next morning site we did two nights camping at the Fort Pickens campground which is a great campground the tent campground in particular um, and drove here, yes, but we took the shoreline route. We did not take the highway route. So we were driving along the Gulf of Mexico, the coast, the, the whole time, which was just incredible. <laughs> just incredible. Beautiful sights. Passed through a lot of pretty interesting towns. That was really good, and then we finally made it to Appalachia Cola National Forest, which is the third and final national forest in Florida that I needed to visit and experience, which I have. So I can say that I've been to Ocala, Osceola, and Appalachia Cola, uh, all within the last month. So that's pretty neat too. It's as if you are following the Florida Trail. Yes. Which again goes right through here. There's a nice sign with the trail markers right there I mean literally it goes right through this trailhead oh. yeah this is this is a, a, a primary marked trailhead for the uh, Florida Trail all right so we got here we set up camp at Porter Lake it's a first come first serve and it's free which is beautiful met some pretty cool people got to take some converted school bus tours some RV tours Went to bed and woke up and here we are saying goodbye. It's been an incredible journey the last week with Dad. Really, really appreciated our time together. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You know, we have gotten to the point where we both, I think, really need tent time. Uh, I, for one, need to be sleeping on the ground every every so often. Not, not very... <laughs> Many times throughout the year is what I'm trying to say. Um, and uh, for me, this trip, uh, you know, I'm back in the States for a long time and it's harder for me to be back in the States, obviously. Um, so this has been really important for me to spend time with Ryan, spend time with Ryan away from Chicago, um, explore a completely different part of the country, feel like we really did it just fantastic. Uh, I have much better feel for all this area and you know at one point I told him you know boy what I the information about this area that I've held that I've held and been told for most of my life is radically different from the actual being of this area <laughs> and uh, um, Ryan said yeah you really just need to not listen to people and go and explore and do it yourself so um, 
we're doing that ourselves and hopefully uh, you can do some of that with uh, the 360 video to get at least eyeballs on uh, some of these places but uh, it's been really important for me to to be with Ryan and be with Ryan away from Chicago and so I've really enjoyed this week and it's been a week and you didn't even talk about USS Alabama oh I which did was, <laughs> yeah which was pretty incredible of itself yeah I think just so much has happened that it's all just, you know, sinking into the depths of my brain. And yeah, we look. I haven't gotten any time to reflect on it. Right, yeah. And my videos are way behind. I mean, we've just been doing Yeah. Um, I will say one of the neat things, uh, you know, we are upgrading technology a little bit. Of course, this is my little area. But uh, we stood on the road last night at 9.30. Ryan's like, Dad, come on out. Let's go look on the, stand on the road and look at the stars. And the stars are just insane and we are, we are not very far from Tallahassee but it is pitch black out here and we saw a lot a lot of stars and we we're able to take photos so I'm really kind of excited to see how those photos look today mm -hmm. because last night they looked pretty cool yeah it's important to get out and see the stars my people yeah yeah we've had a long saying i think between the two of us uh, we have so much light pollution in this on this planet and it's too bad because where the population exists is where the light pollution is obviously that makes sense but i think the world would be a little bit better kinder place if people could see the stars and understand how small we are in the universe um you know forget about whether there's life or not, it's just the overwhelming smallness that occurs when you look at a sky full of stars and, and know that, wow, I mean, this is, we are one small marble. So we're parting ways now. I'm headed to Columbus, Georgia. Dad, you're heading to Tampa. Sarasota. Sarasota. A little farther, apparently. Yeah. Just found that out. I thought it was Tampa yesterday, and then I found out it was Sarasota. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be there by dinner. Apparently that's like a full day drive still. This is a big state. Yeah. Yeah, mine's only three and a half hours. Yeah, I got like six. <laughs> so. so we will pack it up and get out of here. Yeah. Uh, tents are going to be wet, so we'll have to dry them out at some point. That's fine. Well, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to us and experiencing the hikes that we've been doing, the camping that we've been doing. Um, if you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button. If you like this channel, give it a subscribe. And if you would like to support me or my dad, you can find a link in my link tree, uh, support me link. It helps us continue to experience the world. So we appreciate you. Until next time, peace.